So I read this article in Breitbart News about the lovely governor of California talking about how great the gun control legislation is here. And, um, you know, even playing a clip or something of Ronald Reagan talking about how great it was. Now, I understand California is a big place with a lot of people. It's a dangerous place and this is a complicated issue, but honestly, I want to, I just want to say this, the reason, hear me out. The reason that this is such an issue right now is honestly, because this guy is not doing his job. He's not doing his job. And he's not doing his job, right? He is, um, you know, well, first of all, the fact that he's even talking about this shows you how off the track he is, okay? The reason is, is because I don't see the evidence that this legislation actually is helping. California is getting more and more dangerous by the day. And you know why that is? It's because the police uh, here are understaffed. They are struggling to maintain their personnel and the, the uh, attitude of like the DA's office, the attitude of the state government is actually pro-criminal. It is demoralizing to a lot of police. And that is from the top down. The DA in Los Angeles County basically said, hey, by the way, if somebody, you know, comes and, and robs you, yeah, just go along with it because that's the best way to get through it. Don't, no, call 911. <laughs> no, just hope it works out. And they, I mean, it's, it's turning into lawlessness here. And these guys, they are actually fueling it. They're, they're a part of it. If he did his job, if he was did what he was supposed to do by the people, for the people, looking out for the good of the citizens of California, this would be completely different. But you know what he's looking out for? He's looking out for special interest groups. He's creating a, a class of person. He's creating a, basically, a, he's catering to a certain class of people here. And it's, it, it's getting dark. It's getting so dark. Okay. I think this, this just shows you that, like, this is such a tactic of the world to take something that is completely flawed and broken and to turn a blind eye to it. And instead look at something else and say, Hey, here we did. Look, can I would like to see him quote how crime stats are down. I think he can say uh, the number of people they've put in prison is down because they stopped pr prosecuting crimes. I don't even know. I, I, I don't even know what this guy is doing other than he's pretending like he did something when he wasn't the one that did it. And... He's calling for something that honestly, I, I mean, look, the reason people are buying these weapons is because they don't feel safe. They don't feel safe. Either that or they're criminals. They're going to get their hands on them anyways. And uh, these guys like Gavin Newsom, honestly, they want to remove from the public their God-given right to defend themselves, to be safe. Man, I, all I have to say is this. Look, we need to pray for these, these guys. We need to pray that God breaks them. The lies stop and they start actually looking at this objectively, doing something that will benefit the state of California. Figure out a way to... Um, increase the effectiveness, increase the size, the number of the police around here, um, increase, you know, 
safety in the communities. And I can tell you, it's it's going the wrong way here. So we, we need to pray that they repent, they do their job, and we need to pray that, honestly, the people here see through this nonsense because it is nonsense. So anyways, I just a little grumpy about this today, kind of on a rant side of things. Um, but listen, may the Lord richly bless you. Thanks so much for watching this and I'll see you again tomorrow. God bless.